I'm now going to print um, one item from the InMove uh, bicep and also then uh, an item from the face or two items from the face and jaw directory so I'm jumping between the directories a little bit um, because I'm trying to do a bunch of flat pieces now while I'm uh, sitting at home so these pieces take very little time um, to actually finish printing so I can go through a lot of them at the same time when I'm not at home then I try and do the the taller pieces that might take uh, three or four hours so um, I'm just positioning these items again like I said the left side of the projector and top side is the weakest so you kind of want to stay away from that and you can print there you can see in some of the prints I do print there uh, you just have to display much longer and like I said I want to get through these prints as quickly as possible while I'm sitting here um, so I'm just positioning them making sure everything uh, sits on the bolt plate nothing is touching anything and I'm just using exactly the same settings as I've been using with all the other uh, flat prints uh, the first 50 layers uh, will be solid and then I go over to continuous um, and all these well most of these prints if I remember to switch on uh, will be um, recorded live and streamed to YouTube channel directly uh, so here you can see uh, from layer 50 it'll go hollow uh, layer 0 I'm just going to reduce the the display time a little bit I saw 10 sec 10.5 seconds is enough for the solid parts and then uh, 23 seconds for hollow because as the rule states the less pixels you have the more power you need the more pixels you have the less power you need so uh, because we're going hollow we uh, need to almost well in this case almost double uh, our power probably it's a little bit more than double um, to perform to get the print to actually work so just going through everything uh, forcing gen generation of the PNGs so because my laptop that is on the printing machine uh, is very weak so it's not great at slicing so I'm just slicing and generating all the PNGs when you click on package only that is if you already have the PNGs in the temp directory so it's uh, in cases where you load the gizmo file into gizmator and you just want to change some settings and then you can package only uh, it'll take everything that is in the temp directory that's related to this gizmo file and then just create a new gizmo and back up the previous one uh, so slice and package is the option you want to use when you want to create new slices um, so I don't think there's any other system doing this at the moment and uh, I'll just use this same gizmo file uh, it's actually already printing and, and uh, displaying live on YouTube so yeah it goes really quick when when you have the settings uh, sorted out and just uh, churn out parts over and over and over and that's it